Welcome to the Relaxing Show. Today's topic is uh, why use sunscreen when you exfoliate your skin um, in your skin routine. So we're going to talk about it. Hey Alyssa, welcome back to the Relaxing Show. Good to see you again. Hey Candy, welcome to back to the Relaxing Show. Hey Clean Slate Wax Studio, welcome back to the Relaxing Show. Um, hey Kajib. Welcome to the Be Waxing Show. Uh, if you're new, could you welcome? Let us know where you're coming from so we can greet you properly. Alyssa smiling back. Uh, smiling back at you. I'm going to read from, uh, let's see if I can say it right today. Any apple? No, I'm not saying it right today. But I'm uh, welcome. Good to have you back. Um, hey, Mama Poppin' Six. Welcome to the Be Waxing Show. Hey, uh, Mr. Derek G. Chin, welcome to the Relaxing Show. <laughs> Minneapolis. I know, I'm like, why can't I say it when I want Minneapolis? I said it. Oh, I don't know why I struggle with saying it. All right, well, welcome, glad to have you here. How are you guys doing? So, I'm gonna get right into the show today. Something that uh, we're going to talk about sunscreen. I actually have a real live example of what happened to me today um, of the sunscreen situation. Uh, announcements. Uh, so, new announcements. Uh, one is if you haven't voted yet, um, you can go to one of the posts where I have a clear jar and a white jar, and you can vote on which jar you think is better, fit your reason and why, and um, I will take that into account when I am creating new pads. So I'm working with the lab, and uh, I can choose clear jars or white jars, and so I would love to have your opinion on that. The second announcement is uh, yesterday, I would talk with Dr. Lash's Aesthetics. You guys know her as Marilyn. Hey, uh, Dina Brown, welcome to the Relaxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. I talk about Marilyn often on this show. She is an esthetician instructor. Uh, we've collabed before in the past. We are doing a series. It's going to be a two-day series next week for estheticians. Um, spa professionals, all that. It's going to be about private labeling and retailing. So, uh, if you, and it's a free class, like we're giving this for free. So, uh, it will be next week on Wednesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Those are the announcements. So let's get into the, I'm going to go, so if you're new to the show, uh, how the show works, I do announcements like I just did, I do the intro, letting you know who I am and what I do, and then I get into content. So I'm going to go into the intro, and then we will get into content. So welcome to the Waxing Show, welcome to the Waxing Show, and so you remember, welcome to the Waxing Show. My name is Becca, I'm a pro waxer, skin therapist, and a licensed esthetician since 2010. I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, and ingrowns through full body waxing, chemical peels, facials, and products. There's a truck going by. I just want to see my view. Isn't that pretty? Hey, Care Cozy. Welcome to the Waxing Show. Hey, Breezy Love. Um, welcome back to the Wassy Show. All right, so my intro. Uh, a classy thirty-one hundred. Welcome to the Wassy Show. So I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, ingrowth through full body waxing, chemical peels, facials, and products. Known for my exfoliating pads, the acne and pads, and the fruit enzyme pads, and our chemical exfoliants. 
um, great for sensitive skin, used on face and body, and bikini line, uh, Brazilian area. Um, I also help estheticians start their own product line, start their own salon suite, attract clients, and improve their waxing technique. Uh, that's why uh, we'll be doing the private label slash retail series next week um, with Dr. Lashes Aesthetics. So if you are an institution, go follow at Dr. Lashes Aesthetics. And um, we'll be doing that together. Hey, Bo McKenzie, welcome back to the Waxing Show. Um, I go live Wednesday through Friday at 3.26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, giving information about waxing, skincare, and institution education. Hey, MJ, welcome back to the Blue Waxing Show. Good to see you. We're back at your bow, Mackenzie. Um, S. Bean, welcome to the Blue Waxing Show. Uh, Bo McKenzie says, thank you. You are welcome. The one you got, welcome to the Blue Waxing Show. Uh, so, if you want to know when I go live about skincare, you can join the lab. If you want to know when I go live about waxing, you can join the wax lounge. And then, if you are a licensed professional and you want to know when I go live, you can join the salon team. All right, so let's talk about it. Exfoliating is important, it should be in your routine. Uh, you will decide, you and your institution will decide how often you need to be exfoliating uh, weekly. And I recommend getting a chemical exfoliant into your routine. That's what the pads are. Um, it's great for sensitive skin. If you have um, dark spots, it's not as abrasive. Hey, I'm a Cali girl. Welcome to the Be Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. So, uh, you should be exfoliating. Whether you're using a physical exfoliant or a chemical exfoliant regularly, you should be exfoliating. It's going to make your skin less dull, help you with your waxes. Um, get the wax, the hair coming out easier, make it less painful. Um, your skin looks better when it's exfoliated. Other products will work better. Your moisturizer will work better. So you'll notice that your skin may be dry. You exfoliate, it's less dry because um, you're removing that dead skin so mo the moisturizer can come through. Now, why you need to wear sunscreen? I recommend wearing at least SPF 30 uh, or above, 30 or above. In the daytime, on your face, on your decollete, arms, stuff like that, whatever's being exposed to the sun uh, when you are exfoliating. The reason why, when you are exfoliating, you are removing the dead skin, so you're getting that new skin um, coming through. That skin is very sensitive, and especially if you're working on acne or dark spots, the sun can make those spots darker, or the sun can make the acne um, act up more so you want to protect um, it from the sun with sunscreen and like I said when you're exfoliating you are you know in the process of fixing your skin and it's like you need to protect that transition of your skin hey Torja welcome back to the waxing show good to see you good to see you so I have an example of how this happened to me today um, beds to sugar. Welcome to the relaxing show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. This is example how this happened. Uh, I am dedicated to wearing sunscreen all the time. I use Black Girl sunscreen, uh, Skin Script sunscreen. I go through all. Um, hey, the aesthetic touch. Welcome to the relaxing show. Tur J said hi, sweetie. Hey. Um. So. I decided to go swimming today. Uh, we did. We worked out today with my husband and I. Um, hey, Jenny, Maria, welcome to the Waxing Show. Let me know where you're coming from. So we worked out. Let me tell you, we did a hardcore workout. Did my body right. You know, feeling good. And just a side note that if you work out and you're sweating a lot and you get ingrowth, you can use the pads right after your workout, especially if you're not going to shower right after. Hey, Abby. Welcome back to the Blue Waxing Show. She said, hey, hey. Hey, hey, back at you. So, I got done working out. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go lay out and pull. So, I laid out and pulled. I 
Now I did not use an exfoliating pad right after I worked out and I did not use an exfoliating pad this morning, but I have been using the exfoliating pads regularly, right? I use them regularly. Um, so I put the sunscreen on my face. I put the sunscreen on my body, but I didn't focus too much on my bikini line. I kind of just like plotted the, plotted the bikini line area. And I, I didn't I didn't do it that much. Hey, uh, Mer America, welcome to the Debut Waxing Show. Um, Abby said I messaged you, Abby from Toronto. Oh, I you know I didn't get the message. Um, I will look at my unreads after the show and um, look at it and see why I didn't get it. For some reason I because sometimes it goes into that uh, requested bar and I don't. It doesn't come through as a notification so i'll check uh, i'll check that after the show so um hey i am nothing like you welcome to the three waxing show hey um bill doc holiday welcome back to the three waxing show good to see you if you're new let me know where you're coming from for those who just joined okay i have many questions and i want to order oh, okay So thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Will Sub Boo. Welcome back to the Dibu Waxing Show. Hey, uh, Lady Cat 66. Welcome to the Dibu Show. It's on the back of Shabby. Okay, so I, for those of you who joined, I went to go swimming today. Laid out, swim, laid out, swim, laid out. But before, I didn't put so much sunscreen on my bikini line. Now, I use the pads on my bikini line to pre prevent me from having in and to exfoliate because I didn't do a good job I started noticing when I was in the pool hey Lusoki welcome back to the relaxing show good to see you uh, I started noticing in the pool that I had like little spots um, and my thinking is that it's like little uh, white spots like hyperpigmentation spots and this can happen when you are using a strong exfoliant and you do not protect your skin everyone's skin reacts differently right you can get it dark you can get it light i had hypopigmentation that happened hypopigmentation so it was like little white spots that happened on my bikini line it was more on my right side because i know i i know exactly what happened i didn't i like oh it was like oh i make sure to do my line but i didn't focus so much on my right side so I have some spots on there um, and so it's hypopigmentation and this is a clear example of why you need to wear sunscreen so not only do you need to wear sunscreen on your face but if you are laying out and having a I know people are saying hot girl summer or married life summer or whatever you're doing summer where you be out showing your skin uh, you need to be putting sunscreen on those areas especially if you're using the pads the pads are strong chemical exfoliants um, and you do not want the reaction of the chemical acids mixing with the sun and this goes with your face especially um, and your body so I'm kind of glad it happened because I could talk about it I know that it will go away I'll wear sunscreen tomorrow if I get into the pool. So y'all, I'm really pulling it up. I don't even usually put my head all in the water, but now I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. But yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk about. Any questions about that? I know uh, we've been talking about the pads, so you guys may have questions, but it's very important to wear sunscreen. And like I said, everyone's skin is different how it reacts. It could go darker. Mine's hypopigmentated versus hyperpigmentation, which is dark. But um, it just depends on your skin. But you want to make sure you're wearing sunscreen. And sunscreens I recommend: Black Girl Sunscreen, Skin Scrub Sunscreen. Those really are good for if you have dry skin. Those two are really good. The Skin Scrub Sunscreen I offer that one. That one is very thick. So if you have dry skin, uh, you'll you'll like that one. Bit. Anna, Anna, welcome to the Boxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Hmm. 
yeah, so if you are going to be in the sun and even traveling, like say you're in your car most of you're getting out doing errands and stuff, you still want to um, be wearing sunscreen. Now, if you're getting professional treatments, like you're getting facials weekly or monthly, weekly is the best if you can get weekly facials, if that can be in your budget and get chemical pills regularly, you 100% need to be wearing sunscreen. Because what we as estheticians can use on your skin is stronger than what you can use at home. So a lot of times we're doing enzymes, microdermabrasion, a lot of things that are um, really peeling off those dead layers that you just can't get to at home. Hey, a pride. Welcome to the Boxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. Um, and so you don't want to damage the skin even further. I've done that where I was doing a chemical peel series, didn't wear sunscreen for a few days. I knew what I was doing. I knew you were supposed to wear sunscreen. I know this, right? I know this, man. Um, e. Martinez, uh, Aesthetics, welcome to the Debut Waxing Show. And so, uh, hey, Mariah, welcome back to the Debut Waxing Show. Good to see you. Um, so I had dark spots really bad and it was tragic. Dude. So wear your sunscreen. So Alyssa says, any recommendations of what sunscreens to wear over your makeup? Good question. So I believe black girl sunscreen, and it's not just for black girls because um, uh, Oral says, hi, I see it now. Um, Welcome, welcome. I don't know what you're seeing, but welcome. Welcome to the Baby Waxing Show. Oh, I think maybe you're saying it was the light. Mariah says, I need to find a sunscreen that will break me out. Um, Myra's, welcome to the Baby Waxing Show. Yeah, it's kind of like you have to do a trial and error, especially with thick sunscreens. I was just saying how the two that I was recommending. So Alyssa asks, any recommendation of what sunscreens to wear over your makeup? So black girl sunscreen has a spray one i haven't tried it but i'm sure it's great uh and it's not just for black people because my husband i have my husband use it he's white uh also a trick that you can do with sunscreen when you're reapplying on your makeup is you can take your sunscreen that you're using and you can either use your makeup beauty blender or use a different blending bl blending beauty blender specifically for your sunscreen reapplication and you want to pat it on your thing and then reapply like that so you are applying the sunscreen it can be any type of sunscreen on top of your makeup okay and that I find is the best way to do it um, Besides the spray, that's the best way to do it because then you can um, pat it on and not feel like it's like a grease ball. And you can also up, update your makeup look. Hey, um, I see sunshine. Welcome to the Waxing Show. Hey, fresh light winter. Fresh light winter. I just want to say it like that. Welcome to the uh, Baby Waxing Show. Hey, um, Mandine O'Black. Welcome to the Waxing Show. Um, Aurel and Aesthetic said that's a great tip. Never thought about patting it on. Yes, good to do. You're welcome. So I want to say this because I know you just came in your esthetician. Make sure you follow at Dr. Lashes Aesthetics. I know you're already following, but we are doing the next week. We are doing the two-day series on private labeling and retailing. Um, I know it's not what we're talking about today. Keep asking your questions about today. I just want to bring that up. Uh, the, re the big reason we wanted to do it, I've been wanting to do a free one for people who purchased from me. And then she was bringing it up because a lot of people wanted private label in her live yesterday. And so I was like, Ugh, we do what so well talking with each other. And we have so much information to give to, the, give to the world and the beauty industry that us together working together is like fire. So we're doing that, but, um, because a lot of estheticians want to start their own product line, but they don't know where to start. And sometimes they just need to hear other people talking about their journeys to have the confidence for it. So that's one. And two, um, 
two is retailing it could be, it's so great to have your own product line but if you don't know how to retail the clients then you're not gonna be able to sell that right and i think retail is the best thing because us as estheticians we do things on people's skin and we need to make sure our clients are doing what they're supposed to be doing at home with the right products so that way their treatments are working even better in the treatment room so um Aurel, Anna aesthetic said yes i signed up i also bought your ebook oh yeah you bought the uh, 20 steps to start your own or no 20 ways to dominate in the spot industry i saw that um, right as i got online uh thank you for your purchase and i'm excited to see you next week when we do our when we do the live together hey the libra and me welcome back to the blasting show good to see you good to see you so yeah any other questions And just to be clear about exfoliating, it should be in everyone's skin routine, whether it's an enzyme, the pads, a uh, physical exfoliant, a face brush, a scrub, whatever, you should be exfoliating because we want to continue to look. retinol, we want to continue to remove that dead skin. Uh, the Libra in me says, hi, how are you? I am doing fabulous. Thanks for asking. I got really tan. I don't know if you can even see it. I was talking about my swimming out, but I got pretty tan. I'm gonna be so tan by the end of all this. So I'm just laying out. But oh, great, thank you for asking. Hey, Pure Look Salon. Welcome back to the Thubu Waxy Show. Deluxe Salon said hello queen. Heart back at you. Uh, Alyssa, would you use the pads on active and growth and breakouts on the bikini? Uh, that's a very good question and yes, they will bring them down quickly. And I mentioned this, so I have, there is a review that I posted. I posted it twice so far. It's a uh, review from someone who a client who purchased the pads and they're actually an esthetician and they had cystic acne and nothing was working they did the pads and it's brought it down so yes you can do active on the bikini line and in grown i'm a person who's prone to them so if i don't use the pads regularly or exfoliate regularly you will see ingrowns um and my ingrowns turn into dark spots and it's a whole thing to get rid of them and uh the pads really are good for that. I have a lot of actually examples in my head of clients who told me they're because everybody has their different there are different things that they have on their bikini line, but yeah, that's but yes is the answer. Pure Lux Salon said glad to see you. Glad to see you too, thank you. Um, hey pretty chef, welcome to the waxing show. Tavi, welcome to the waxing show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. E. Martinez aesthetics. Good question. You said, are the pads safe to use while pregnant or breastfeeding? Um, so this is a good question and I've had people who are pregnant use them because, you know, lactic acid is okay, but salicylic is one that's a little weary. Uh, glycolic I haven't heard too much about, but salicylic is the one that uh, people who are pregnant may or may not want to stay away from so what I tell people if they're nervous about it or like are unsure oh my god that's a huge fly uh, then I say just consult your doctor and send them the on my website I have the ingredients on there right I I'm very open about the ingredients in my pads um, I send I'm able to like hey you can send your doctor this I've done this with my products. I've done this with chemical pills. Like if I'm doing a chemical pill, example, um, if you're doing a chem, sometimes people with uh, cancer, they can't have certain chemical pills, but you can get away with it. If you are like, hey, you know, a person when they're going through chemo, they, their skin is breaking out. 
they need to find ways to fix it can we do this chemical pill with these ingredients on them and we i've sent it to the doctor and we've gotten the okay so um, if you're concerned about the salicylic acid then i would say okay i have seen pregnant women use them and be fine breastfeeding women use them but uh, i do ca caution i would say err on what is that side on the air caution uh, when dealing with that Oriel aesthetics is i have a client that still has ingrowth in her bikini line she says she does exfoliate daily but all also tries to extract on her own so there's a couple things that could be going on in that situation um is she sleeping with underwear on um and then her trying to extract on her own i know it's tempting to do it as clients but sometimes we can push them back in it really is a skill to get ingrowns out and not cause more of a problem so she could be causing a problem she could be one of those people who's just really prone to them and she needs to be using something stronger so i would look into what she's using uh to exfoliate because the scrub may not be enough she may need chemical exfoliants and that could be enzyme that could be pads that could be something that's um strong and then i would go from there find out what she's using dig in be like hey you need chemical exfoliants are you sleeping with no underwear stop picking at them what's your workout routine like and then if she transitions to the chemical and does all that stuff then i would consider her doing vajayshals uh getting vajayshals done for you so you would give her a resilient and vajayshal and obviously dr lash of aesthetics is queen of the vajayshals Alyssa said thanks you're welcome uh, I love to have them in my salon can't wait yes um, we have uh, we do wholesale them uh, I am gonna get back to emails one of us somebody will get back to you and emails uh, today and tomorrow if you've emailed about um, if you've emailed about wholesale and pets they're very popular they're very easy to eat sell because if you are waxing clients they it's like a no-brainer they should be using something to exfoliate the pads don't dry them out you probably see people with a lot of ingrowns it's just an easy sale um and it just makes sense so and it's a good way to um, increase your profit so if you charge say you charge what sixty dollars say sixty dollars for a brazilian you're charging forty that's a hundred dollars for a 15 minute 30 minute service um, do two of those back to back 200 in an hour and then that doesn't even include tip all this says thanks for the tips we'll be sharing with my clients you're welcome good glad to get this information out um Terry says, so wait you can do chemical peeling on your JJ uh -huh, I didn't know that yes it's not that like it's not advertised um, I do it on, but I do it on specific clients and I do it on myself uh, this is something that I don't talk about much because I know what works has worked for me and what has worked for my clients with experimenting with pills on the bikini line. Who knows a lot about that is Dr. Lash's Aesthetics. Her name's Marilyn. She, she talks about on her Instagram a lot on it and she knows more about it, to be honest. Um, because she deals with a range of clients and she teaches estheticians on how to do it. I just do it from my experience and my current clients that I do it on. And it's work for them, but I don't really talk about it too much on the show. Because um, it's a very, like, customized thing. And you're usually my client for a while before I even offer that. Um, so, yes, I'm excited. In California, starting in January, vegetables will finally be allowed for estheticians. I saw that. Um, it's... I yes, when another esthetician told me about voting for it. I don't know if you're in that group uh, with Wendy, who's over it, and we can now do body body treatments more. Um, so yeah, starting in January, that's exciting. Um, and then I would recommend start getting your clients excited about it now. Whenever I start something, whenever I start something, I start promoting it way in advance. Like I'm gonna open up the salon again because I'm closed right now um but you guys know i talk about oh i'm opening up i'm opening up soon is like getting people excited stuff like that so uh capricorn beauty welcome to the waxing show 
Victor said, uh, no, but it's good to know because I have been having that problem with the pigmentation. So sleeping without underwear is also a good tip. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I, um, so maybe if you find some esthetician who's, who's been trained through, uh, Maryland and she can, if you reach out to Dr. Lester study, she can tell you who is in your area because she knows all that stuff. But, um, I don't know in her program, does she use lactic, but I'm saying from my point of view, using the pads help with my ingrowns and lightening but i needed lactic acid to help lightening my areas like even now so there was a period of time where i was out of pads uh, everybody was out of pads right i was sold out and i didn't have my own pads and i got some ingrowns and they turned dark um and so i would need to do a lactic pill to lighten it up because lactic lightens good questions i'm glad this is helpful to you guys Yeah, any other questions? These are good questions. Um, because bikini line is a very common thing that people struggle with, but it's not talked about a lot. Like Brazilian, like how to get rid of hair, how to get rid of ingrowns, because at least what I experienced and noticed when I, I've been doing this for what, 11 years, 11 years ago it was like if you had ingrowns down there it almost was like oh it's not an ingrown it's something else like and so you didn't want to talk about it there was a lot of information um so i really like sharing about this information um, to help people with their things and then working out goes the same thing like i said I, we're currently working out a lot which is exciting but it's a lot of work but when you're working out if you sweat a lot you want to get out of your clothes immediately because that can cause ingrowns um, from the sweat. Someone I was talking to recently was like, oh, I, I um, have been doing hot yoga and I've just recently got some ingrowns. Well, yeah, I need to get out of your clothes really quickly and then use the pads right after. Um, Adi Love, welcome to the Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. So if you found this helpful, I do have that free guide. It's, it's the exfoliating guide. Um, for the estheticians who want me to help them with anything, you can do a fit my brain call. And then um, I would, the support at 3bwaxing.com will get to emails on wholesaling. I know I have some in the inbox, so they, those will get um, respond, responded to in the next 24 hours. That's pretty much it. And for the estheticians, I look forward to seeing you next week, Wednesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Love is from Huntington Beach. Hey, another Californian. We got a lot of California representing, or two Californians representing today. So, welcome from Huntington Beach. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to leave this up. So I usually, most of the lives, unless I turn them into digital products, uh, the lives go onto my YouTube channel. If you click the link in the bio and then the last button, uh you will see my youtube channel yesterday it didn't save so i don't know what was happening i plan on doing this one too but i don't know what's going on um bill doc holiday says saw your platform and i enjoy watching people trust their process rooting from the stand thank you so much i'm so glad you're here and thank you so much for your support and being here thank you thank you well, your pads are you wholesaling or private labeling to estheticians? Yes, I do both. Um, I sell, you just have to purchase a certain amount. You can do your own label. Right now, I'm doing it's going to be my label for right now. Actually, I think I can do it. It depends on what you want because email me what you want and then I will can, can work with you. Um, so normally I wholesale either they have my label or they don't and you just do your own labeling and I sh after you order I give you the information of my designer and all that stuff um, but because um, right now the pads are all at the pack with my packing manager uh, 
because everything's with my packet manager and everything's already labeled, uh, I don't want to put that work on her of unlabeling everything. So right now, everything would be with my label. But you get it at a different price um, when you buy in bulk, and then you can um, make sales. So I guess co-branding is, it's just like having um, skin scrub in your, or Lovely, I think there's a brand called Lovely. It's just like that, um, but you make a profit off of it for your salon. Hey Kill Pegs, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. I hope that made sense. Hopefully I answered your question. I know I was like kind of bouncing about. It's because we've been doing it a certain way, but now things are changing and uh, my process is being more streamlined and a lot of good things are happening right now and through the waxing behind the scenes. Uh, and so right now it's uh, not legal. Hey, the only MW. Welcome, the only MW. Welcome to the Waxing Show. I said yes, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, y'all. There is growth. There's so many good things. Hey, uh, Desiree Joy. Welcome back to the Waxing Show. Good to see you. Hey, Kiana. Welcome to the Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. There is so many. Like, there's little things that are happening, and then there's also big things that are happening. Of the growth. That way, I can serve you guys better. I mean, one of the little things is where you can determine the clear jar versus the white jar but um, there's just a lot of good stuff coming uh, so I can serve you guys better and um, I really do listen and you know make changes it does take some time but you know let's just having a business uh, things do take time especially when they're executed you want them executed a certain way um, and are, are very intentional about things uh, things just grow and change and stuff like that. Uh, I remember when I was just in the salon in Brea, my first salon, uh, I was renting and there was a, a hair girl, a spray tan girl, and I was renting in the back and it was, if you remember coming to me then, thank you for being my client and sticking with me because it was not the prettiest place, to be honest with you. But I started with no clientele um, and I was texting everyone in my phone. Uh, I was I just moved to California. Even though I had worked at other places, those places were very far from where I chose to start the salon. The people that I rented from said they were going to give me clients. Didn't get a single client from them. And I just built built it, built clientele there. Hey Kelsey, welcome back to the Waxing Show. Good to see you. And um, it was a lot of faith honestly and to think that now I have my product line and it sells all over the country and out of the country and all the stuff and I'm able to help other people and wax other people it just is a blessing because I think about if you guys care I'll tell you if you don't I'll end it quickly but um because I think now sometimes I'll be like, oh, I need to be doing more. I need to be doing this, this, and this. Like I have a to-do to list, you know, every week of things I need to get done, need to get done, and how I see helping you guys. But when I first started, I was only going to wax my clients. Um, I started doing 30-minute facials, like it was 30-minute facials only and wax services, and then I had body scrubs. I took body scrubs off because it was too much work for me. Uh, doing 30 minute facials and I was like, and I don't have my product line for my clients. I did not, um, cause I wasn't an Instagram person until I started promoting my business. So, uh, you know, it's really, I, I believe that it's God, like, um, he's blessed me to have so many blessings and things come up and ways to help other people. Like I wasn't expecting, even though I was hired by companies to train their staff, I wasn't expecting to have that part of through the waxing where I trained people and did what I do and having eBooks, um, as you were saying, you, were, you purchased one. Like that wasn't, my mind didn't even think like that. So what I would say to those of you who are watching or estheticians, even if you're not estheticians, 
if you just go into what you like to do and follow it, the other stuff will start compiling and coming to you and like uh, start growing in itself and more and more stuff will come to you. Um, and that's what I have to remember today. Like, if I just continue to love what I do and work and continue to love more and more stuff, more and more opportunities, I get to work with um, so many great people as I continue to do this. Like, I go, I'm here on live and I get to talk with you guys um, and meet so many of you. Like, oh, I'm going to mess it up again. Minneapolis. Oh, Alyssa from Minneapolis. But, and, um, Oriana, or let me know how to say that. Hopefully, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Oriana Aesthetics and like talking with you guys all over the place. Uh, MJ, it's just great for me. And it's, it's fulfilling to help people everywhere. So, that's just what I wanted to share. Hey, Rarely Defined. Welcome to the Debut Watching Show. Hey, Gugant49. Welcome to the Debut Watching Show. So, if you have any other questions, you can drop them below if you need help with your skin you can do a skin consultation i do those on tuesdays and yeah i will get to my messages um because i know abby was saying that if you are sometimes if you're on instagram and some messages don't give me alerts and i have to go into the requested area and then emails about wholesaling will be answered in the next 24 hours so you guys have a wonderful day if you're in california you sell products tuesday or monday is the deadline for sell tax letting you know because I have to do a sales tax um, forms tonight. I definitely played that song by Drake. Um, about taxes. Anyways, have a great night and um, remember to wear sunscreen when you are exfoliating and you should be exfoliating in your skin routine at some point in the week. So have a good one and I'll see you tomorrow.